Hey guys, what is up? Uh, Josh from TapKit. Today we're going to be talking about QR codes and TapKit. Um, for those of you who don't know, TapKit is an all-in-one platform to design and make uh, microsites and QR codes. Um, so you can do both creation of a QR code and the link site that that uh, QR code links to. You know, a mobile-first link site, gateway site that um, helps customers navigate to more of your content. Um, you can check out more of my tutorials um, if you're looking for a first introduction to beginner introduction to TapKit. But today we're talking about QR codes. So let's get into it. So first things first, um, there's two types of QR codes that exist. There's static QR codes and there's dynamic QR codes. Um, and TapKit offers uh, users a free static QR code generator. Um, and essentially uh, a static QR code is fixed. So um, once you create this and you download this, um, this QR code will always link to that uh, destination link that you that you, that you um, specified when you made it. Um, and you won't really see too much analytics on something like that. It's free um, and it's fixed. So you have to be super certain that, you know, that's what you're after. Um, but that's good for lots of people. Um, the, other, the other notion is dynamic QR codes and they're a little bit different. So dynamic QR codes allow you to see um, more analytics and data with your QR code. But most importantly, they allow you to change your destination link at any time. So even if you've gone to print on some printing material, it's on your packaging, uh, it's on your TV ad, you know, wherever you're surfing this stuff, if you have a change of heart or later down the line, you want to link to something like a feedback form or a different product page or a special campaign page or promotion, you can update QR the QR code uh, destination at any time. So a little bit different. Um, but yeah, you can claim a free QR code, download it in PNG and SVG, um, and that's available on the website uh, for free. So that's one way to uh, get a QR code. Maybe that's okay for you guys. Um, a second way is uh, if, you, if you're a user of TapKit and you've built a project, built one of those microsites, um, you can actually, in the projects panel, um, create a QR code specifically for your project. So as you can see, this project for L'Oreal, um, it's created a QR code for that your destination link is static again. And um, in a similar way, it's just all set for you and done. Um, but what we're most excited to tell you about today and the reason for the tutorial is our brand new dynamic QR code studio. So as I mentioned, dynamic QR code is a little bit different. But if you come down, down into the menu and you hit up the QR code studio, you'll come here and you probably won't have uh, any QR codes yet because um, I've just been having a play. But uh, first of all, you just hit new QR code and you'll jump to uh, the customizer for the QR code. So uh, here you can name your project. So I'm just going to call this tutorial QR code example. You know, for you, it might be, you know, a specific placement. Um, let's just link this to uh, tapkit.com for the sake of this tutorial. And now you get the fun stuff, so you can start customizing. I can change the eyeballs. As you see, it changes over there on the right. I'll go for round. I can have rounded um, iframes. You can pick between your bodies, different styles. Um, let's go for this one. And uh, the density of the the, um, the QR body. So you know, if I flip between these, you'll see lots of um, lines, sort of medium amount of lines, and then a less amount of lines. Um, I'll go for the medium, and then um, maybe I want to change this to uh, dark blue. Um, I can make it all the same, or I can choose, you know, different different code. That looks great. Maybe that's your branding, <laughs> but you can have fun and change anything you want. You can also change the background, should you wish. Um, and have fun there. And then lastly, uh, you can add a logo, so you can bring in your own logo or your own symbols um, that you custom on, custom upload into the platform. Um, and they've just come in, um, or you can pick some of the preset ones, should you be linking to your um, TikTok account, for example, or something else, um, and color those too. So this is just an example. Um, I actually will get rid of that as we're linking to TapKit and not to our Facebook account. And I'll hit create, and it's as simple as that. So you can have fun designing it out and creating it how you want, and then um, that will pop into your QR code studio. And from there, uh, you can, once you, get some data coming in, you can view the report and that will tell you things like the number of scans, you know, what the um, device people are using, what browser they're looking at it on, what city they're in, things like that. So you can get some nice rich analytics with your QR codes, um, but you can also 
um, edit it at any time again. So it's, like I said, dynamic, you can update it and change it, um, change the destination at any point. So it um, might be handy for those people who want that extra reassurance. Um, and then yeah, hit download and you can download the PNG SVG again. So uh, that's the QR Studio and QR codes in TapKit. Um, really powerful for you know transporting customers who are offline online very easily and quickly um, into a link site where they can discover more of your brand um, or you know whatever you're working on. Um, if you have any questions, free thrill to reach out. Um, that's all from me.